Hi Sharks, my name is Gabe Wolf. I'm Andy Blanova and we're from Stamford, Connecticut. Our company is Wink Frozen Desserts and we're seeking $300,000 in exchange for 15% equity in our company. Ice cream. It's a. It's. I, yes, it is. It is easy Thank to you. say. <laughs> Ice cream. It's America's favorite dessert. But let's face it. It's so bad for you. But going cold turkey on this frozen treat is a lot more difficult than it sounds. As an ice cream addict myself, who's very health conscious, I decided to do something about it. So I went into the kitchen and played mad scientist to create my own healthy, all-natural frozen treat. Wink Frozen Desserts is a dairy-free and sugar-free frozen treat that's not only vegan, it's free of all the top made allergens, and my personal favorite part, weighs in at only 100 calories for, for the, the entire, entire pint. pint. Most importantly, we do all this what? by using natural, non-genetically modified ingredients while still delivering on sweetness and flavor. Sharks, with Wink, you won't even miss regular ice cream. We've created a delicious treat that satisfies almost any sweet tooth, but need your help in order to bring Wink to the national stage. So Sharks, now it's your turn to try the healthiest and tastiest thing to ever happen to ice cream. Wink! Can we try it? Of Absolutely. Hey, I have bad news for you. Yeah. I am an ice cream expert. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Nobody eats more ice cream than me. I love the stuff. Well, it's definitely different. We've individualized each Sunday in the middle. Oh, thank you. It's vanilla with um, maple pecan granola and some cherries. Wow. Breakfast Lori, this stuff. is for you. It is our cake batter, my personal favorite flavor, Thank with you. A strawberries and a dairy-free and allergen-free chocolate chips. In the middle is the sundae, and right on the perimeter of your sundae, you have a sample of each flavor. So we have six flavors. Our first flavor is cake batter. Uh, it's a gluten-free cake batter, so there is no other gluten-free cake batter on the market yet. Uh, then we have cocoa dough, which is like a chocolatey cookie dough. Then we do cinnamon bun, ice latte, and choco mint, and a vanilla bean. What is the substitute sugar? Uh, we use organic stevia and monk fruit to sweeten it. It tastes kind of, you know, in the middle. That's why we do the Sundays to add a little bit of flavor to it, and so you can customize I, it. I didn't want to say, but no, it's kind of bland on it. its own. Yeah, it's not a product that's meant to hit a home run with every single person yeah. you trust. Is it a product that's meant to be eaten on its own, or do you see it as yeah. a mixer with something? Well, we have customers that do both. I personally love to eat the cake batter on, on its own. But Annie, you don't have to be 100 calories. You could be... 200 calories and still be 50% less than most ice creams made with milk fat. Is that true? Is the average tub of that size 500 calories? 600 calories. Yeah. 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 More so, wow. so did you test going to 200 calories to see if it, it made sure. the base product more interesting? Yeah, and what it does, you get more of the flavor, but you do end up adding a couple grams of fat or like one gram of sugar. Well, what does sales say? I mean, it doesn't yeah, matter how what much I personally sold. think, so, it matters what sales are. Absolutely. So to date, we've sold $534,000 worth. Over what period of time? Three years. Um, oh. And how do you sell it? We started with an online store going direct to consumer. We're in several retailers um, around our area in the Northeast. Um, so we're in Whole Foods. Um, how many Whole Foods, Foods are you in? 30. 30. What is the substance that this is made out of? If so it, the base is pea protein, so it's a vegetable pea protein, protein base, non-GMO. Yeah, but I was curious, you were telling us your story, and you said you just went in the kitchen. Yeah, I made the ice cream. How did you do that? So growing up, I was the chubby kid in school. I got the donut. You are. You're looking good. Thank you. <laughs> Barbara, <laughs> you leave never alone. know it. So my whole entire family struggled with diabetes, uh, with obesity. And then when I turned 17, I was diagnosed with celiac disease and a dairy intolerance. Uh, so it drastically changed the way I had to eat. And this is a full-time job for both of you? Yes. Now it is, yes. Yeah. How much did you make last year? The company lost money last year, but yeah. gross profit was about 87000 And where's the break-even point? We're actually projected to make $650,000 this year. Yeah. Why wow. a sudden change? It sounds like it's a big We have there. about 180 stores that are coming on. The reason there was such a loss last year was because we had problems with their co-packer. We had their freezer breaking down. We lost about $60,000 with the product. Uh, right okay. Ice cream That's season what. Was. Like, it, yeah. it, the numbers just didn't add up. Guys, I'm not crazy about your product, and perhaps I lack appreciation, but I didn't find it had any taste until I bit into your trimmings there. Uh, but more importantly than the taste, for me, I love to buy a business that's on the winning side. Everybody loves a winner, especially investors. I think it would have been far better for you to come in here after you turn the corner of a profit of sure, some sure. kind. So because of the timing of your pitch, I'm out. Okay. Thank you. Thank you um, very much. I, w I would like to address some of the concerns that you voiced. Fine. So we're going to make six hundred fifty thousand dollars this year, uh, easily making four hundred fifty in the second half of this year. At that, we'll make a fifty thousand dollar profit. 
Next year, we've already had meetings with some of the bigger retailers. They love the product. They love who we are. They love what we're doing. Guys, I wanted so bad to love this. I'm lactose intolerant. If my wife even sees ice cream, she yanks it away because she has to pay the penalty yeah. of me eating right. ice cream. I'm sure it's an acquired taste. Mm. It just wasn't my taste. And so for that reason, I'm out. Gabe, I love how you started the business. You have a passion for it. You're going to keep going. In food, I got to love the product. I wish you all the success in the world, um, but I'm out. Um, 100 calories for a pint. Yeah. I mean, yeah. what person doesn't want to eat a pint of ice cream? Exactly. Mm -hmm. The problem for me is, is I didn't really love the taste of it. I really wanted to, but I'm out. So we're all out except Kevin. Well, I'm listening to the other sharks, and, and basically what they've said and interpreting it down to what they mean is this. You've achieved... Vegan, gluten-free, sugar-free, dairy-free, soy-free, fat-free, nut-free, egg-free, and taste-free. The only customers you have are ones that have to have this for health reasons. I get it, but I think you can do better. I think this product could have met at least halfway the expectations of a Cuban or Lori who's so polite in the way she says it tastes like crap. But it does taste like crap. That's the truth. And maybe that's the way it has to taste, but as an investment, not for me. I'm out. Okay. He's so rude. I'm not rude. Oh, yes, you're hey, rude. Hey, guys, before you freak out about the whole thing, right, because obviously it's not what you expect to come in here. Right. Different people have different tastes, so I don't want to, you know, we're not trying to throw well, you under the bus. Gabe, okay, you're not going after a wide market. It's sure. better to be the best wink in a narrow category. I, I understand, like, it's not yeah, what you guys expected. it's not for a lot of people, but, but, I mean, our customers are obsessed with us. That's <laughs> all that matters. Do what's right for you. Thank you. We're super disappointed that they didn't like it. We really wanted them to enjoy the product. We really could use the money right now and really step on the gas, but I guess we'll just have to continue. <laughs>